everyone so i hope you remember we are doing this projects so till now we completed the five video and we are continuing that one because many student is requesting to have the small length video that's why we are creating in the 10 10 15 minutes video like that or 17 minutes so that's why this video becoming lengthy but no issue we are going to cover each and everything here so r1 configuration already we done now we need to do the r2 and r3 so let's start the r2 configuration in this one same thing what we done in the r1 we are going to do i hope you already remember we are doing the design and implement design and implement a small company network in that one we are at the at present we are in the r2 place so now this is a brand new router we need to do here first we need to give the name of the router so i am giving the name here r2 and after that we need to assign the ip so first let me configure the interface f0 by 0 i will give here f0 by 0 and then ip address whatever ip address we wrote here 12 dot something so we need to assign the 12 dot something so i will write here 192 dot 168 dot 12 dot 2 and give space write 255 dot 255 dot 255 dot 0 and i will write here no shirt and after that we will have one more interface that is the interface f0 by 1 this one i am saying f0 by 1 so i will go under that interface i will write ip address and here i will write 192 168 23.2 and 255.255.255.0 i will write here no shirt okay so i assign this 23.2 i am giving the router number here whatever i done i am giving the 20 if you see if i write show ip interface brief whatever i give here all are one only if you see 12.1 here is 13.1 so now here what I will do 2.2 two, dot two. 23.2 dot two in between this one and 12.2 dot two here and now this F0, F1 by 0 here we need to do sub interface concept as we done here so I will write interface F1 slash 0 and I will write here no shirt no IP address ok after that we need to divide this interface into sub interface so I will write here exit and then interface f f1 slash 0 sorry i will exit here and interface f1 slash here i need to write for which vlan i need to do this sub interface here if you see what vlan we have this side 40 50 60 so i need to create for 40 so i will write here 40 so i created one in sub interface f1 slash 0 dot 40 here I need to write encapsulation dot one q and the VLAN tag so I am giving 40. Here I can give any number but I am doing for VLAN 40 so I am putting the VLAN 40 here. So it will be easy for us to track in future. And here make sure you need to give the correct number here for which VLAN you are doing. So we are doing for VLAN 40 so we done. After that you need to assign the IP, the gateway IP because we are doing the inter VLAN. So what IP you, you are planning to give as a gateway we need to put that one here. So here I am putting the 40.1 will be the gateway for all the computer we whoever is in the VLAN 40. Now I need to do the other thing I will do the same thing like that F1 slash 0 okay dot 50 this is for VLAN 50 here also same thing encapsulation dot 1q 50 I will write then I will write here IP address 192.168.50 dot what is that one 50.1 gateway this will be the gateway and the default subnet mask and no shirt already this interface is up so now 50 is done we need to do same thing for 60 so i will write interface f1 slash 0 dot 60 okay for vlan 60 and then again we need to do here encapsulation dot 1q and put the tag here and we need to write here ip address 192.168.60.1 dot 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 one 255.255.255.0 and we will write no shirt already it is up so no need to write no shirt also but anyhow i wrote here three interface we created and we assign the ip so inter vlan will work now we need to do the routing also so if you want to do the routing you will write router spf1 and then network and you will write here network id 192.168 what is the vlan we are using 40.0 and wildcard mask 0.0.0.255 area 0 area 0 this is for VLAN 40 and here I will put VLAN 50 and next will be VLAN 60 
here will be vlan 60 and after that what you have other network here you have 23 and so i will put 23 you can see this one this interface 23 and here is 2 well so i will put here 2 well also so i am enabling the ospf here sorry 2 well okay so ospf configuration is done here and what else you need to do the dscp configuration so i will write ip dscp pool and which vlan we are doing we are doing for which vlan i am putting that name here for example for vlan 40 we will do the network and put the network id whatever you want to give we you want to give for vlan 40 and then subnet mask 255.255.0 and then default router and here will be the gateway what gateway you want to give for 40.1 will be the gateway as we told just now here this one the ip whatever we assign here 40.150.1 so here the 40.1 will be the gateway and also if you need to give the dns you can put 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 .8 as a dns so here the dscp server is configured in the router because as per here they are mentioning here all the devices in the network are expected to obtain the ip address dynamically with their expected router configure as a dscp server so second floor is having this router so i am configuring this router as a dscp server so for vlan 40 i done here now i need to do for the vlan 50 and 60 so i will write ip dscp pool and then i will write here vlan 50 and then network and we will put the network id 192.168 50.0 and then 255.255.255.0 and default router 192.168.50.1 okay 50.1 and if you want to give the dns you can put 8.8.8.8 so this is for vlan 50 is done now we can do for the vlan 60 so ip dscp pool vlan 60 we have 60 also right here 60 so i done i am doing for vlan 60 network same thing like 192.168.60. dot dot what will be zero and two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero and here will be default router 192.168.60.1 and then after that i will write dns 8.8.8.8 okay and this one is done now i can do for the 60 is finished only so I can write the IP DSCP exclude because I don't want to give this IP as I am using the gateway. So 40.1, okay, and then 50.1, then we should not give this IP to anyone 60.1 because we are using as a gateway. So this one is going to uh, work. So now we can test IP, our machines are getting IP or not from the DSCP. So I will go here, I will go and click here this is the pc from the vlan 60 it get the ip from the dscp and if you go for other vlan click here you click here and wait for some time you will get the ip from the vlan 50 also and go here and you can click in the desktop and check here you are getting the ip or not if you see you are getting the ip everything is good now you can ping also this is a 40.2 so you can go to any other vlan and put 40.2 this is 60.2 so i can ping here ping 192.168.40.2 and check reply is coming or not it will work because we done the interval and routing so it will start working now we need to make sure it is working or not working if you see it is working perfectly so the what we can say the router 2 configuration is also done in the second floor i can save the configuration and here also already we have configuration we can uh, save also here also okay here also we can save and now you can do the same thing in this other router also this router so let's go and do fast so this is the th third floor router i will do very fast so i will write no enable and i will do the configuration host name i will give as a r3 and then we need to put interface f0 by 0 you have here this one and ip should be 13.3 so i will write here ip address 192.168.13.3255.255.255.0 and we will write no shut and then you have another interface if you see this one f0 by 1 so f0 by 1 
IP address we told 192.168.23.3 255.255.255.0 I will write here no shut this one we wrote here 23 192.168.23.0 here should be 23.2 here should be 23.3 so we assign that IP and now we need to do this one this is a F1 by 0 we need to divide the sub interface for this VLAN VLAN 70 and another VLAN is VLAN 80 so let's do this one so what I will do here, I will write interface F1 slash 0 and here I will write no shirt and then again I will write in, I will exit this and interface, you can write this way also, let me write no shirt, no shirt and no IP address we will write, but anyhow we don't have any IP there also, I will write interface F1 slash 0, now I need to, again I go inside, interface F1 slash 0 now I need to divide this into sub interface for VLAN 70 and VLAN 80 so I will write here 70 okay and then I will do encapsulation dot 1Q and VLAN number I need to put and I need to assign the gateway so I will write 192 170.1 255.255.255.0 and we will write no shirt here then we will exit and we will write interface F what is that one F uh, 1 slash 0 dot 80 and we will write here encapsulation dot 1q 80 and after that what we can do here we can assign the IP IP address 192.168.80 dot what is that one 80.1 dot 1 255 dot 255 dot 255 dot 0 and no shit already this is up only so this way we assign the IP so we created two sub interface if you want to check you can write show IP interface brief you get here two sub interface now we need to do the OSPF configuration as they told to do that one we need to write router OSPF 1 network and we are doing for the OSPF for VLAN 70 so I will write this 0.0.0.255 .0 area 0 we are using area 0 here this is the network ID for VLAN 70 and wildcard mass we need to write and for which area we are doing we need to write so I am doing for area 0 and if you see here sorry here we will create this one as a VLAN 80 so this two we enable and also we need to check what we done we enable here this two uh, sub interface F1 by 0 that is a 70 and 80 now we need to look 13 and 23 so here we need to correct this one should be 13 and 23 okay so now I enable OSPF here here and here now I can save and also you can do the DSCP like IP DSCP if you see the neighborship is also forming here okay neighborship is forming here anyhow I will do the configuration IP DSCP pool we are go doing for VLAN 70 so I will write here VLAN 70 then network network ID 192.168.70.0 0 and give space 255.255.255.0 and default router 192.168.70.1 press enter dns server 8.8.8.8 .8 okay and what else we need to do we need to create the pool for the ipdscp pool for vlan 80 i will do for vlan 80 and network will be 192.168.80.0 give space 255.255.255.0 and here default router will be 192.168.80.1 and DNS if you want DNS will be 8.8.8.8 .8 okay so we done we save the configuration we created and also you need to write IP DSCP uh, here I will write exit and IP DSCP exclude which IP we want to exclude 192.168 70.1 because we are going to use that one as a gateway and also 80.1 we need to exclude this to IP that's all so here also we done the configuration SSH we need to enable later we will see but now you can go and check here you are getting the IP or not if you click here see you are getting yeah you get the 70.2 and uh, you have somewhere here some IP so we can ping here you have this computer what IP this computer get 30.3 so let's try to check from here 30.3 you can ping or not because routing is also enabled so 30.3 192.168 30.3 so it, if you see it is working this is a guy in the third floor 
from the hr department is work, uh, communicating with the store department which is in first floor it is working perfectly so what we can say dscp is also working perfectly interview and routing is also working perfectly and also what we can say like uh, ip also you are getting interview line is working ospf is also working perfectly that's why you are able to ping but still it is not completed we need to do some more thing we need to enable the ssh in all the routers and switches so in our next class we are going to look that one how we can enable the ssh first we will see how we can enable in the routers then we will see in the switch and we are going to look that one okay i hope it is clear in case if you are stuck somewhere let us know we are going to support you like our facebook page and join our telegram channel so we done this one and after that if you see this one is also working now we need to do this one okay we are here in this step so within one video or two video we are going to cover that one also so this is our project you have three floors i put like this if you want you can uh, zoom out and put one by one near to this somewhere near okay you can uh, try to do the same lab with the different style you can put one below another one below another one like that you can do okay thank you see you